Berlin is a huge roast session. Hello guys, welcome back, so if you're having a wonderful day, today we're going to be reacting to Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 2. This episode is called The Lion and the Rose, so without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. If you make it out of the woods, you win! Run, Me who thought it was a nice, friendly hunt. Well done. Me too. I only wounded her. Huh? You brought her down. That's what matters. I, I did whatever you want. But you made Miranda feel jealous. Me, jealous of her? I don't think. You can see that your presence has become a bit of a problem. No match made in seven hells. Uh, I don't appreciate the transition. Oh my god, it's in between Tyrion and Jamie. Is it solid gold? Gilded steel. We've only heard about how much they care about each other, but we didn't actually see it. Like, we only had one scene of them together, just one scene, and it wasn't pilot. A toast to the proud Lannister children the dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. <laughs> oh, I'll clean it. No, I'll do it. Dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. <laughs> it's only wine. Aww. Tyrion. <laughs> I can't fight anymore. What about your life? Sure you can, yeah. I can hold a sword. All my instincts are wrong. How can I protect the king when I can hardly bite my own arm? Who wants you to protect the king? Come on. No one wants you to. You need a proper discreet swordsman. As it happens, I have just the one. Ron? <laughs> yes. I was kind of hoping that Brienne is the one who's going to help him, you know? I'm used to sparring swords since I was nine. I think Ron is the right man for this job. He knows how to push people's buttons and Jamie kind of needs that right now. Come on then. It's the first time I'm like, wow, Jamie is really handsome. <laughs> Walter, this is Ramsay Snow, my bastard. A pleasure, mother. <laughs> Walter? Poor Theon. What did you do to him? I trained him. You have no learner, idea. But he learned. You flayed him. Peeled a few bits. Removed a few others. This was Balin Greyjoy's son and heir. We've been flaying our enemies for a thousand years. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a Snow. I had to smuggle myself into my own lands, thanks to the great joys. I needed Theon. I needed him whole. Theon was our enemy. But Reek... Reek will never betray us. I place far too much trust in you. Oh! Reek, how could you let me stand before my father unshaven? It's disrespectful. He's gonna give him a razor? Oh, he's gonna prove a point. Wow. <laughs> the Starks have always ruled the North. If Bran and Rickon are alive, the country will rally to their side. Now that Rob Stark is gone. Oh. He doesn't know. Right, Rick. Rob Stark is dead. Oh my God. I'm like a brother to you. <gasps> my father put a knife through his heart. Theon, just kill him. You have nothing to lose. I think he still has something to lose, but it doesn't matter. Just kill him. Kill him. What have you done to him? This guy has balls. He was like, come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Do it. Do it. <sighs> Joffrey might be a master, but Ramsay is a, is a devil in disguise. Shay has been noticed. Sansa's maid saw you with her. She already told your sister. It's only a matter of time before your father hears. I've told him this is a dangerous place so many times she no longer believes it. Your father has promised to hang the next whore he finds you with. Have you ever known your father to make an idle threat? Nope. Varys seems to genuinely care 
I really love that about him. I mean, he won't put his self at risk, but so you know he cares. She's the whore I told you about, the dark head. I was brought to the Tower of the Hound before the wedding. Shay! Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. What just happened? One of only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. Freshly forged in your honor. Are you seriously giving, me, giving him that sword? who thought that he was nice for once. Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Oh, Sansa, oh my God. She won't ever get rid of him. What's wrong, my lion? Don't call me that. What should I call you? I'm afraid our friendship He's gonna do continue. it the hard way. There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. You are. Oh, I'm scared you are you're afraid gonna of lose your, your head. Your sister. You're going to run from them all your life. She doesn't I'm get it. She never gets I'm not it. Going to run she, from them. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. I can't be in love with a whore. I can't oh. have children with a whore. How many men have you been with? Five hundred? Five thousand? She won't listen to anything else, but man, that was harsh. Oh, Shay. Oh. <laughs> Tyrion, you had to. You had to do it. Oh my god. Sire! I saved you well! Lord of Light, show us the way. Lead us from the dark. Please! Your sister. You're my sister! Remember Stannis Baratheon that Ned chose to support and died for? The king who cared? This Stannis is a madman. Did you see? They're so. Shut up! Creepy! Our Lord took them, did you see? I fear for our daughter's soul. Every mother should fear for her child's soul. She's a stubborn little beast. She's a child. You barely know her. You think she's sweet because she smiles when you visit. She is sullen and stubborn and sinful. Why else would the Lord of Light have seen fit to mark her face? She needs the rod. She's my daughter. You will not strike her. Perhaps the Lady Melisandre could speak with her. No, stay away from that little child. I swear to fucking God. Hold on. Take me to the tree. What's special about this tree? It's like the one in Winterfell. Ned? What the fuck? Look for me. You see in the past. In the future, maybe that was a, a dragon king's landing. Oh my god. Oh my god. He saw things through the tree. Like things that had happened and things maybe that will happen in the future. Ah, oh, the wedding. The hair. The hair, Marjorie. Look at this. With this kiss, I pledge my love. <laughs> so weird. We have a new queen. Yeah. Better her than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you don't want to believe it, but she is. Now, go drink until it feels like you did the right thing. So it feels that you did the right thing. Man. Hello. Hello. Love you. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god, that was savage. That was so savage. Oh my god. I haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was to hear about your brother. War is war, but killing a man at a wedding. Horrid. What sort of monster would do such a thing? 
Tell me about it. He's bored. Even Marjorie is bored. Everyone! The Queen would like to say a few words. To thank the gods for bringing the recent war to a just end, King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. I thought she's gonna announce that she's pregnant. You're an example to us all. <laughs> what a showman! Seriously. <laughs> if you were to marry Cersei, she'd murder you in your sleep. If you she would. manage to put a child in her first, she'd murder him too, long before he drew his first breath. Luckily for you, none of this will happen, because you'll never marry her. And neither will you. <gasps> Drop the mic! Drop the freaking mic! Loris! Oh my god! I owe you my gratitude. You returned my brother safely to King's Land. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I know it's coming. Real Grace. Did he? I haven't heard that story before. Not such a fascinating story, I'm afraid. I'm sure you've heard oh, no. fascinating stories. Sworn to Renly Baratheon, sworn to Catelyn Stark, and now my brother. It must be exciting to flit from one camp to the next. Serving whichever lord or lady you fancy. I knew it was coming. Your brother, your grace. Would you love him? She does? She does? She, wait, she... She does! She does! Your oh, grace. You could have told her, no, I love him as a brother. Maybe that's not the right answer. You annoy me right now. Every breath you draw in my presence annoys me. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave my presence. Leave this wedding right now. Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennel. Seriously? Oh, the Queen Marjorie the queen said they were to is be. telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. that he saw that Marjorie was born he was like I got to do something about it very quick I don't believe you have met Ilaria this is the Lord Han Tywin Lannister and Cersei Lannister the Queen Regent I suppose it is former Queen Regent now this wedding is a huge roast session seriously with any luck the gout will abate with time and he'll be able to walk again they call it the rich man's disease a wonder you don't have it. No woman in my part of the country don't enjoy the same lifestyle as our counterparts in Dawn. People everywhere have their differences. In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is considered distasteful. Verbally owning both Cersei and Tywin at the same time is a grand feat in my book, seriously. This wedding is a huge, big rose session. My ladies. I give you King Joffrey, Renly, Stannis, Rob Stark, Balon Greyjoy, the War of the Five Kings. Cersei looks so. <laughs> Cersei looks so proud. Oh, poor Sansa. Way to insult and upset both your uncle and his wife at the same time. At least he's creative. <laughs> this is so fuck. Oh my god, seriously. Both Cersei and Tywin are smirking and happy about it. This is so fucked up, man. Lady Olena, Marjorie, they didn't look happy about it. They looked disgusted. This was but a poor imitation of your own bravery on the field of battle. I speak as a first-hand witness. <laughs> Climb down from the high table with your new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. Be careful, though. This one is clearly mad with lust. It would be a tragedy for the king to lose his virtue hours before his wedding night. Tyrion, don't provoke him. Come on. Who's the one sitting next to Tyrion? Is that 
Joffrey's brother? You can be my cupbearer, seeing as you're too cowardly to fight. Your grace does me a great honor. Oh, fuck, I hate him so much. Man, can he just fucking die already? Neil. Neil before your king. Tyrone, this is your son who's being humiliated. Look, the pie! Marjorie has talents for distractions. I love you. Uncle, oh, just let him be. Tell me my one. Can you please choke on that pie? I'm asking for too much. I know, people like him will never die. Especially not choking on food. If it please your grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. <coughs> no, the wait here. Is choking? <coughs> <coughs> what the hell is choking? <coughs> He's choking! Oh, poor boy! What the hell? <gasps> Idiots, help your king! Wait! Wait, 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 what? what? Oh my god, he's been poisoned! Joffrey! Oh my god! Joffrey! Ah! Come with me now. Joffrey! No, but this is it's so coming. good to be true. Oh my god, oh my god, wait! Joffrey! <gasps> Don't make a scene, you bitch! Oh my god! He's dying! He's dying! He's dying! He's dying! That must be so painful! That must have been so painful! He's dead! Oh my god, he's dead! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! This is so good to be true! I can't fucking believe what's happening right now! He's... 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 No, he didn't! Oh my god! He had to Poison die in Britain! Take him. Take him! No, he didn't Take do him. it. He didn't do it. Well, fuck, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Fuck, he didn't do it. I know he didn't do it. Oh my god. He died. He's really dead. Joffrey is really dead. I, am I dreaming? Am I seeing things? Did it, did it really happen right now? Like, did, did Joffrey just die? <laughs> I can't believe what's happening. This is so good to be true. Like, no, 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 it, no, it can't be happening. No way. <laughs> Rob died at a wedding, and Joffrey died on his own wedding. I can't believe this happened. I've never been so happy about someone dying before like this. Like, seriously, hallelujah, hallelujah, like. Oh my god, about time. It's been a long time coming. I thought that this moment would never happen. I seriously thought that we're stuck with Joffrey. At least, at least, like, you know? At least, at least till the fucking series finale. Like, seriously. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> Finally, we got rid of him. Ooh, like, I feel so satisfied right now. This show has given me a great satisfaction. I've never been so happy about a character dying before. It's crazy. We need to celebrate. Even though the bitch, instead of fucking dying alone, he dragged Tyrion with him. I know Tyrion wouldn't do it. And the fool, the fool took Sansa out of there. Did he poison him? It looked like he, he knew what was about to happen. 
Oh my god, but whoever poisoned him, whoever poisoned him is the true hero of the show. Now I hope Ramsey's turn is gonna come soon. And it really, really did look painful. Like, like, just what he deserved. Choking on his own blood, on his own wedding. Karma. Karma is a bitch. Love it. Love it so much. Uh, I have to go back and see Brand's vision again. Okay, we have Fancy Tree, Crow in Winterfell Crypts. It looked familiar because he dreamt multiple times, especially in season one, like the same exact thing. He saw, wait, Ned in the Godswood and then in prison. More fancy trees and crows white walkers there's a white walker more crows white walker a, a dead horse not so dead and dead horse the throne room it's destroyed and there's snow it looks like you know the thing that the same scene that Daenerys, you know, had in her vision in season two. Snow in the throne room, and the throne room is kind of destroyed. Same thing that uh, Daenerys had in her in her vision in the House of the Dying. And there's dragon, a flying dragon at King's Landing. Oh my god. I feel like most of this is foreshadowing. I'm so, 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 so hyped. Like seriously. Especially that Joffrey, you know, died. Not just good people in the show. So I, like, the balance kind of, kind of is being restored right now. So I'm actually happy about it. Uh, but we still have Ramsey, man. Ramsey, you know, Ramsey is terrifying as well. Like, as I said, Joffrey might be a monster, but Ramsey's kind of like, it's, it's the devil, like seriously. And I think the, the, the one thing Ramsey has over Joffrey is that he isn't a complete coward. So, you know, with Joffrey, there are limitations. You know that there's some things that he he doesn't have the balls to do it himself, you know? Ramsey has balls. And he does shit all by himself, like, you know? And I think he has an inferiority complex, especially when it comes to him being a bastard and not being approved by his father as his true son, you know, an heir. So, yeah, there's that. I feel like he's, he'll do anything to get his father's approval and be considered his heir, you know? I think I'm gonna watch the next episode. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. There's a reason for us to celebrate. So go celebrate. I'm going to celebrate. Like, I need a shot or two. <laughs> Seriously, anyway. See you in the next video.